Welcome to this new video in which I'm going to introduce you to a template that will enable you to retrieve tons of email addresses from websites filled in either by hand or in a CSV file, an Excel file, or even a Google Sheet. Different methods for retrieving lots of email addresses associated with these sites. So, as you can see, with a template that's barely 10 blocks long, I've easily created an email scrapper that will automatically download all the email addresses of the websites I entered at the outset. In this example, I have a CSV file with a website column in which I find the various sites for which I want to retrieve email addresses. So first, let me show you the demo. I launch, and then it will scrape like this, each site one by one looking for email addresses. At the end, I get a CSV file with sites and email addresses. It took up my entire list and retrieved all the email addresses found. As I said in the introduction, you can import sites by CSV, by copy and paste, or by Google Sheet. There are many different ways of doing this. So here, I'm going to show you the Google Sheet method too. I'll simply reactivate the relevant blocks. I'm going to change the method here, Google Sheet. This is my Google Sheet. So you'll see automatically the email column will be populated at the end of the process. Here we go. And there you go, automatically my Google Sheet has been updated with all the email addresses. Then, even harder, we use the scrapping mode. This puts a load on the browser, but you can do it invisibly. This way, you can browse your browser without any annoyance. Related to Automa, I'll show you how. Hop. We're going to shunt switch this part. I'm going to delete it. So here I go again with a blank Google Sheet and I launch my template. So there, it launched, but on the Chrome side, nothing happens. And it's already finished. I've barely had time to speak. As you can see, no tabs opened, so I could work without any problem on Chrome. On Chrome. And automatically, it's already finished. And it updated the Google Sheet with all the emails found. So on the one hand, it doesn't interfere with browsing. And on the other, it's faster. So here's the template. Now, if we go with the Google Sheet option, I'll take you through it in detail. First of all, I start with a Google Sheet block in which I've entered my Google Sheet ID. So it's going to read this tab and this column, the website column. Okay, from here, I'm going to create a loop which will allow me to read each line of the Google Sheet. So I'll go and scrape each site. So here, I'm going to put the scrapping mode back on first. So the first step with this block, I'm going to open the site in question, the URL of the site. If ever the site doesn't respond, which can happen to avoid breaking the process, well, I have an escape route in case of error that takes me to the end of my loop. This way, we can move straight on to the next site. If the site works, what do I do? I use a regular expression to extract all the potential email addresses contained in the page's source code. So this regular expression, ChatGPT gave it to me. I didn't build it from scratch. He really helped me out on this one. So I save everything in a variable I call body. Beforehand, I created a table in my Automa template with two columns website, email. So first I'm going to populate the first website column. I'll enter the URL of the site in question. I'll check if an email has been found. So with the conditions block, I'm going to check if my variable body uh, email address that responds, a character string at any rate that responds to this regular expression. If so, I'll store the email in my array with the value found. If not, I put a little line through it. That's all there is to it. And that's what gives me, for example, you see for this site, the little line there. I didn't find any email. Then I've already come to the end of my loop, which means I'm going to move on to the next site from here. Once my loop is complete, in this case, I'll update my Google Sheet, my Automa table, which looks like this in the logs. So I have a table with two columns, website, email. What's Automa going to do? He'll copy and paste this table and transfer it here. Quite simply, 
the invisible version, which doesn't burden the browser, allowing you to continue using it without being bothered by the template execution. So that means I'm going into this branch. And what is this branch? So you see, there are actually two steps. They represent the same number of steps, but they're not the same blocks. So what am I actually going to do? I'm going to make an HTTP GET request, which will simply read the URL of the site. I'll save all the source code found in a variable I call body. So it does exactly the same thing, except that with a new tab, the browser is called upon to open a tab. With an HTTP request block, nothing visible happens. Behind it, I do exactly the same thing. With a regular expression, I search for potential email addresses. And then I fall back on my feet, the rest of the process. And if I wanted, for example, to import the data from a CSV file and do a CSV export at the end, no problem. In that case, I deactivate. I don't need my Google Sheet blocks. There, I reactivate the CSV export block. And what's going to change is in my loop. This time, the data source for the loop will no longer be the Google Sheet. It's going to be a custom data, custom data. I click on this button, and from there, I can go and import my file. So let me remind you the file here. I'm going to import it. Now, to show you the change, I'm deleting everything. I import my file. Here it is. And it has retrieved all the sites to be analyzed. Then I just save and run. And at the end, I'll have the Excel file with all the email addresses in it. You'll find this template in my Automa training so you can analyze and test it yourself. The link is in the video description. You didn't understand everything. Don't worry, that's normal. It wasn't a training video, but a demonstration video. The aim of my training is to teach you how to master Automa step by step so that you'll be comfortable using all templates. Did you enjoy this video? Then please feel free to like, comment and share it. It's what motivates me to make more videos for you. And if you have any ideas for templates you'd like to see in a future video, let me know in the comments. And of course, to make sure you don't miss any future videos, subscribe to my channel.